Hello beautiful people of the internet. I decided to take my video outside today because it's so pretty out. Today I'm going to be working on an art project. So I invite you all to grab whatever materials you have. It could be just markers, pen, pencil, paper, whatever you're most comfortable working with or whatever materials you just have at hand. Today my art project that I'm be working on today is a Russian doll. I just got an idea today what I wanted to do with this. I've had this for like almost a year now so i wanted to bring you along with me thank you so much for joining me today if you haven't watched my videos before i usually do create with me as a moment for you and i to come together and decompress by making something and most importantly being present in the moment and what feelings we may be experiencing right now in this moment right now we're gonna see how we're feeling and however that turns out so I know it can be really overwhelming when you're trying to first come up with a concept of what to do. I also go through this struggle literally every time I'm trying to create something. I mean, even look, it took me a year to figure out what I wanted to do on this Russian doll. So when trying to come up for a concept for this Russian doll, I looked up a whole bunch of inspiration on Google and just on Pinterest of like different types of Russian dolls. And I don't know why, but none of them felt personal to me or none of them felt like I wanted to do it to look like that. So after thinking and thinking and thinking, I was like, how can I make this really personal? And one day when I was working at my job, it just hit me. My brain was saying to me, Sarah, why don't you make it your emotions? So the biggest one for the outside was of course yellow because everyone always sees me as happy and joyful and just overall kind of like this really bright energy. Right under the yellow layer is going to be the orange which I kind of went with because I feel like orange is kind of like an anxious color for me especially. It just kind of reminds me of like orange cones on the road which are like caution, be careful type feel. So I've already completed the blue and the red one, which is of course is like sadness and anger. And then I'm doing the center one, a lime green, because lately I've really felt like I've resonated with the color lime green. I'm not sure why, maybe it's because, you know, I'm feeling renewed or I don't know, but I really love that color right now. So now that I have all of them done in their different colors, I'm gonna add like faces to describe like their emotion. And then I don't know, I might add some things to it just to spruce them up. But I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm a little hot now. Just from sitting in the sun, like the breeze is nice, but it's not keeping me cool enough. So I'm probably gonna move this indoors. So this project may take me a couple days to work on. So I'm just gonna continue to work on it with you, but it's gonna be no time difference for you. So I'll be back in just one sec. So I just relocated to a table that's inside and I start working on like a pattern on all of the Russian dolls. So for all of them, I kind of did like a paisley pattern where they're just going in a circle towards a center. And I thought it was cool because I gave all the different feeling Russian dolls a different kind of pattern with the little swirly lines. Like for example, on this yellow one, it's on the chest region. Once I completed all the paisleys on one of them, I just continue on to the next. I forgot to describe the yellow one while I was doing it, but I'm just gonna move forward and come back around. But for the orange one, it's for my anxiety and my anxious feelings. I don't know why, but I've always been an overthinker and an overanalyzer, and with this, I always think of a whole bunch of what ifs that always trigger me and then put me into a state of just being super anxious. And like how I said that I put swirly lines in different places on each of them, I put the anxiety swirly lines on the stomach. Now I'm moving on to sadness and for this one the bottom layer is a dark blue and I put a light blue as the top layer paisleys. I get sad every so often just when I think about certain things or I'm just kind of feeling low about life or myself. I wouldn't ever say that my sadness is like extremely intense or anything and I think that's why I do a light blue over the dark blue because it's kind of like a softer sadness. And here I put the swirly line on the back of the head. Now we move on to anger. Now for anger, this one honestly makes me so happy ironically because he's so small but he's so feisty. 
it just resembles how even though I can be like little or not an aggressive person, I still have that explosive side to me. And I did the little swirly lines upside down on the back of like where the hips would be. Lastly, I work on my centerpiece, which is basically what I want to represent my soul. My soul kind of disregards my emotions and it's actually who I am on the inside. Now that I finished up their designs, I decided to start sketching out little faces that I could put on them. So this is a little checkpoint in the video where I'm gonna ask you, how's your creating going? I would love to hear what y'all created or drew today, and so you can leave it down in the comment section below and I'll give them a read over. If you haven't done any creating or drawing, that is okay. I'm just happy that you're here with me while I'm creating. And I'm a very persistent person, so you already guessed it. I'm going to take another moment here to invite you to grab whatever materials you have and just create with me during this video. I always find cartoons or like anime or anything of that sort where it's just like a drawing of people or animals where you can like see the different kinds of facial expressions and how perfectly they can nail the moment of that expression and I feel like during this whole time I did a really good job of nailing the expressions that I wanted. I feel like happy looks happy, anxious definitely looks anxious and sadness looks very like calmly sad and anger is just like me I'm mad I'm honestly so proud of myself because they came out looking way better than I thought they would but I still felt like they were missing a little something so I decided to get some glitter out so I just ended up using the same color glitter with the same color Russian doll. If you were to put your emotions in a specific order, how would you rank them? Do you think that you could even rank them or do you find that you view your emotions all on an equal spectrum? Even when reflecting back on the emotions that I chose and the order that I put them in, I felt like it was kind of hard choosing uh, where I wanted to put each emotion. So I kind of used the movie Inside Out as like an inspiration and kind of like a model. So I looked at it more as who has the most control. I feel like happiness has the most control over my life, but also some days that's not necessarily always true. I think the most important part is just recognizing the emotions you are feeling. While the Russian dolls are drying, I decided to come back to this collab piece. While hanging out with two of my friends, we decided to all paint each other. Usually when I'm painting with people who don't do art that often, they typically just start to doubt themselves a lot throughout the painting. I always tried to remind them, respect the process, just keep going, respect the process, just keep going, but it only helped so much. So how y'all initially saw this piece was where my friend had left off, and now I have just been adding to it to finish it. I think this collab is really cute because it technically is a portrait of me, so not only did my friend draw a little bit of me, but now I'm adding a little bit of me into this piece. If this collab process sounds cool to you, I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. I always play this as like a game with my friends and we just take a piece of paper and pen, pencil, or markers and we just start a drawing and then we pass it around. And there would be no rules to this so you can literally manipulate whatever the prior person has created. But basically, the first person draws something, and then when they don't know what to add anymore, they pass it to the next person, and then they add whatever they can until they don't know what to do anymore, and then you just keep doing this process until y'all have finished the piece. It's always so cool to see how the whole thing ends up, because it might have not gone any way that you thought it was. And most importantly, anybody can play this game. Now this piece is almost done, I just add a quick bit of detail of my face on here and voila, it is me. 
Now those Russian dolls should be nice and dry and I just brush off any excess and loose glitter. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on this create with me. I hope this was a moment for you to come decompress and maybe provoke some thoughts about how you're feeling or what emotions you relate to the most. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see any more create with me's and come join me and bring your materials and we can create together. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next video.